Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Lokesh and I'm here again with another video from Teach Well Overseas. Now in this video, we are going to share some information regarding Australian GTE. To start with, what is this GTE? Everybody hears about SOP and then the term GTE might give you shivers. You might be thinking about there is something hard from Australian universities or even the embassy but for your surprise it is not that difficult if you understand what is required step by step GTE is the general temporary entrance information that is the details which a candidate shares with the Australian University or specifically with the visa authorities where they clear their tension, intentions very clearly that they are genuine academic candidates. So now be ready with your notebooks and of course it will be a good journey for you to learn. Okay, the first point which starts with the GTE is there are two types or two directions when you apply for universities in Australia. Step number one or direction number one, the college or the university where you have applied for it will demand or it will request you to submit an SOP which may be around 300 words in total. It is specific to your interests in the course and slight comparisons with your past experience or the work. They just need some general information from your obviously your history. Now let us go ahead with the direction number two. The direction number two comes from the embassy or the visa authorities which make a decision on your application. So what they need actually is, they need a detailed version of your SOP apart from some extra information. Please keep making notes. Alright students, now the next step after what I have explained earlier comes the information obviously you have your information already you want to share whatever with the embassy but remember this information has to have in let's say full of evidence it should not be generic generic means you have given general statements you have uh, searched google engine you have taken out some sentences related to your uh, information your experience job studies anything when you are representing evidence which is related to your information, it should include your personal examples from your own life. To help you out, you can use I, me, my or frame the sentences using these three. This makes it look more evident it is related to your personal life. Okay. Now, the next phase which includes the explanation of the gap year. Let's say if we have graduate students or even the postgraduates who are willing to study in Australia and they have a slight gap, maybe one or two years or even six months, you need to explain the gap properly. You need to tell them why you were not having any job, any work or anything. You were sitting idle for six months or for that said moment or duration. All right. Okay, now this is immediately followed by some references, references in your detailed version of your uh, letter where you are giving references of your teachers, your professors or even those who were associated with you, you were working with them under their guidance, their supervision, you need to share those people in the form of contact numbers, email IDs. Remember. Australia completely relies on the information from your references. The reason being, references or the people with whom you have worked or you have some experience, they will not be lying about your character, your work ethic, your style. They will tell you the truth. They will tell the embassy people the truth that you were this kind of person and you are efficient or maybe not. Okay, so the references are very important which are generated when you form a network from your school onwards. Okay, now 
the next stop we have you need to explain your uh, condition the home condition or the condition of economy in your own country now the point about explaining this is if you have a country where uh, it is developing obviously india is developing and it is going towards a direction where there are more job opportunities there will be growth in each sector of the industries in india then yes there is a clear intention that you you will be coming back to your country for a good job because yes it is improving and at the end of 5 years 2 years 3 years period whenever you are coming back it will be enough to support you for a better career that's the reason behind asking this question related to your economical home conditions okay yes we were talking about the connection with the past it means that you are making it very clear you are linking your past studies in school or college with the subjects or course you have opted for in australian university remember there has to be a linkage which is clearly defining your future goals and of course your intention your uh, choice that you are coming to study only you are looking for something brighter in your future and that is obviously coming from studies now after this we yes we can definitely witness the connection between your job and study for example if you are a graduate student who has some work experience in one of the companies in india you need to say it or mention in your essay or detailed gte why you did this job as per your past studies and of course how this experience may be lacking somewhere which you are looking forward to achieve in your further studies in australia so are you getting a point you are going through a journey you are lacking somewhere in the skills and that is the reason now you are thinking now i need to refine my skills more i need to get something extra that extra which is going to make you a star in your future career or maybe you can become an entrepreneur i hope you are getting the points easily and making notes side by side all right so the next step is about the future value of your course future value of your course which you are going to do in australia this value which obviously makes it clear about in your future you are going to achieve a certain position in any of the multinational company maybe any other organization which is esteemed enough again you can support this theory with let's say a uh, data or a figure of a salary you might get for instance why this is a very important point please listen to me very carefully why the reason is when you have traveled overseas before you are going for your studies in australia if you say to the visa officer that i have been to singapore i have been to um, various other uh, european or even the western nation for a holiday and i came back when you say i came back that stamp in your passport says it obviously that you are a journeying person who traveled came back now you are again going to travel and will study come back again so this is a cycle which makes the visa officer think or develop faith on you yeah in a way i'm advising you if you have travel history it is obviously a good point and advantage when you form gte for australia so if you are planning to to do maybe travel after uh, applying to your university you can do that now all right so now from my side it is all the best for you if you need any information or any help forming a gte for australia you can contact teachul overseas and if you have liked this video please share like and subscribe as well my blessings to you take care